Greetings. This is going to be a very short video. Um, over the last couple of weeks, Tahar, the leader of GMS, the Great Millstone Group, has made some brief comments on how he remembers the stories he had heard about Abba Bibbins. Now, the little bit that Tahar shares on this topic can be of interest or value to people who are interested in the history of One West in general, and Bibbins in particular, because while Tahar himself admittedly never met Bibbins, he is at least a bit further up in the chain of transmission of One West oral tradition, insofar that while most trying to dig into the relevant history today might be receiving stories third or even fourth hand, Tahar is recounting what he had heard secondhand. In other words, he received this information from people who knew Bibbins, and those being, you know, uh, the three students who carried on with, at One West, those being uh, Arya, Masha, and Yaikwab, who went on to start uh, the School of uh, Universal Practical Knowledge. Uh, moreover, because Tahar often runs afoul of uh, YouTube censors' notions of, of offensive speech, his videos and accounts are constantly getting taken down, and uh, unfortunately, interesting information which he shared in those videos can get lost in the process. For that reason, it seemed prudent to document the brief comments he's recently made on Bibbins, uh, which is a subject of interest to me. Now, of particular interest to me, uh, it seems most of the stories on Bibbins' passing have him being assaulted in Newark, New Jersey, and many who recount those stories, whether secondhand, thirdhand, whatever, many of them seem to imagine him being attacked while teaching outside on the street, you know, holding camp. However, Tahar reveals that the way he remembers hearing the stories, it actually happened in Trenton, New Jersey, and it happened indoors. Tahar seems to convey that Bibbins specifically went out there to meet with the men who sadly wound up assaulting him, uh, whether to debate them or to teach them. So I'm going to play two clips, each of which are slightly over a minute long. Uh, both come from Tahar's GMS DocuTube account. Uh, the first is from the 26th of February, and the second is from the 9th of March. Uh, interested viewers will be able to see the titles and dates of the relevant source videos on their screen during the playing of each clip. Now, uh, again, this video is merely intended to document and save Tahar's interesting statements for the historical record, for those interested in the relevant history or the history of oral traditions attempting to recount that history. Uh, in, in case Tahar's videos later disappear, which unfortunately they do quite a bit. So without further ado, I'll just play the two clips and this short video will close there. God bless. Uh, al uh High Priest Grand Pab Poobah, whatever his title is, he's talking about I've been going to the history. I don't know all that history. I heard it from Yaikwab and Arya and, and, and Masha and I didn't really take notes and get all into it. I just know that this this man's name's Abba. We were we were taught by him, and he's Elijah that came back pursuant to Matthew's the seventeenth chapter. So I don't get get all into what he did, and then he was trying to wake up the 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 Mus, the, the Muslims in in uh, Trenton, New Jersey, and it was an it was on the indoor. It wasn't an outdoor. It was in indoor, and they got offended and they beat him up, and he was up in age. And he uh, later died in the hospital. Um, but he, but he blessed, um, you know, Masha, Arya, and Yaikwab uh, because um, Arya came to the truth as a child. There's a picture of him uh, sitting next to uh, Abba when he was 12 years old. I won with him, and he was assassinated in the 60s for this truth with an AK. Well, it wasn't, he said he was assassinated in the 60s with an AK-47. Um, no, nah, that didn't happen. He was beat up in uh, Trenton, New Jersey. And that was told to me by our, uh, uh, um, Marsha, Ariane, y and Yaikwab. Because he went to the hospital and they told him not to go out there because he was trying to convert. You know, Trenton, Jersey was um, heavy in, in, in Islam. The Islamic uh, faith, and it was actually, I believe, it was seventy-two. Yeah, he got beat up, and then he, uh, cause them Jakes wasn't hearing it, man. You know, and that's why the scriptures say, um, well, there's several scriptures that say this that uh, if they can't get it, leave them alone. You know, if they if they be ignorant, let them remain ignorant. 